Hey folks, and welcome in to the Farm Sim Weekend Update of Clutch. Good to have you guys in here. Guys, we're going to be talking about all the mods and news you need for farming simulator. Oh, that happened this last week. Time to dive into it. I'm going to give it all to you in less than six minutes. Let's go. So fortunate week this week, we got a bunch of new maps. However, one of them disappeared, which is kind of weird. But let's start with Italian Rice XL. This map by TDA Team. It is, of course, from Northern Italy and contains 42 fields, eight floodable fields with optional simulation for rice, poor wooded areas, a large company to start. You got three customizable areas, three points of sale for cereals. You got a wool and sawmill, of course, additional crops with rice and green corn, grain storage area. And of course, this map is compatible with seasons and precision farming. Secondly, Millennial Farms was released this week and we'd be amiss not to mention this farm. Of course, it was released once again for PC and is available for PC and console now. It's a re-release. If you had the old version, time to update. Make sure you get the new release on this one. Also, console players, you got an update, so make sure you update this map. Fantastic map. Millennial Farms finally available by Mappers Paradise for all platforms. Now, as for our missing map, Deborah Cow, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, has gone MIA somehow. It was on the Mod Hub on Thursday and no longer is as of this weekend. So not sure if you have that already, make sure you keep it for now. It was available for all platforms at one point in time. It is no longer in the mod hub. Not sure what happened. Maybe we'll find out next week. Now, as for new mods this week, some of the top mods, well, the Lizard Beast 1000 was released on Friday at the end of the week here. It comes with four different speed options, two different configurations, and a whole slew of other options. Well, it's a beast, all right. Next up, we have the White Farm Equipment Field Boss Series 3 by Julian F. Modding. This medium-sized tractor has quite a few options as far as both well, engine configurations. You've got some wheel setups for rear and duals on the rear. Of course, it's a two-wheel drive tractor. No options up front. However, you do have a front loader if you'd like, or weights on the front and several other accessories you can add on to this. The big thing with this, guys, is just it's an extremely high detailed mod that's available for all platforms. The 2150 Early Rise Planters by Custom Modding. Guys, this 16 row planting unit, well, not only is it extremely highly detailed, but it has a whole plethora of various accessories and options you can add to it. Some such as your hydraulic oil cooler. You've got numbers. You've got ridge markers. Seriously, there's a whole bunch of things you can add to this very high detail and very cool planting unit. And our last new mod for the Mod Hub this week was a TLX Camp It Pack by 82 Studio. You get two options with this. You get the Camp It Attachment for the back of the TLX or you get the TLX Camp It Trailer. Those are the two options. You got quite a few options for each of these customizations. You can actually sit inside them as well. And it does transport liquids like water or fuel. Very cool for the role players out there. This is another, another great mod by 82 Studio. Now more for the PC exclusive stuff. Stores sales released this week. Very interesting mod that brings back something from Farm Sim 17. Brands will go on sale. Now they have to be added to the script on each map. However, all the base maps for Farming Simulator 19 from Felsburn, Ravenport, Estancia, Lapacho, and Earlgrat will all work with this. This is kind of a cool mod that puts well different brands on sales at the shop at different times. Kind of on my wish list for the next farming simulator. This is very cool. Hopefully we see some maps that take uh, take in this into account and start using this mod. And secondly, the additional games setting mod. Basically an advancement to F11. Just a whole other slew of options. You can change interface, change data time, change camera angles, and a whole slew of other things we're not gonna get into. Anyone say animal collision behavior? And next up, a bit of an underutilized, underrecognized mod. The Cereals Mill was released. This is PC, Mac only, and is designed to work with the Maze Plus extension. Guys, this takes two different forms. You have two different mills that come with this. One mill transforms maize into pig food. The other one prepares maize to be used with Maze Plus. A very under underutilized mods, and it works correctly. Go download this one. Give this one some love. This is a very cool mod. Now, as for upcoming mods, mods we're looking forward to in the near future, the John Deere 9R, the 2021 John Deere 9R, and of course, the John Deere DB120, the custom modding John Deere DB120. Also, the Connect Modding Case IH6100 series, the 61 head fast riser. Looking forward to seeing this one for sure as well. And lastly, guys, a PC exclusive map, a 4X map by Nitro Dad, Susquehanna River Valley. Guys, this map, 140 fields, four distinct farm sites, two different town sites. You've got multi-fruit, multi-crop as well. Built-in global companies of sorts, as with all of his maps, to be honest. Guys, we're going to have a preview of this map coming very soon, so stay tuned to the channel for that. Can't wait to see this map. Looks like we should be having a release later on this week. 
So folks, there you have it. That's all the new mods and new news for the week in Farming Simulator 19. Guys, if you want to see us talk about this live, we talk about pretty much everything we just talked about in this video on usually Saturdays or Fridays in the Farm Sim Show with myself and DJ Goham. So come hang out with us then where we go over it all live. And with all that being said, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, slap that like. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will catch you next time. Sclutch over and out.